G'day viewers. Uh, I thought I'd take a quick video of this one because this one's quite different. Take a look at that. That is a battery bank out of a forklift. So this particular client has, in a previous business, purchased this battery bank uh, as a replacement for an electric forklift. Uh, it's 48 volt, 750 amp hour, so it's lead acid, so we can't use all that power, we can only use about half, because you only want to discharge lead acid to about 50%. Um, but that's huge, huge amount of storage. And this is the charger here. So that's what would normally plug into the forklift. It's got a sort of an Anderson style plug here, if you like, and that plugs in there. So the system I'm doing here doesn't need a charger. They're gonna charge the battery bank during the day um, from a generator, because they're gonna use a generator. This is a commercial premise on a, uh, they'll be operating a, like a, it's a small sort of mining thing here going on. Um, there's a donga that's just been put in place, which is what this system will be powering. But um, during the day, they'll have a generator running for now, and uh, that charger will actually charge the battery bank. And um, so all I've done here is I've just built a small off-grid system which will essentially power the donga for the caretaker while this place is being built. And I've used the Victron MultiPlus. Now I didn't use the MultiPlus. I was gonna use the Phoenix, but I got let down my, by my supplier because the Phoenix doesn't have the charger. Um, it's just an inverter, so it's a bit cheaper. Um, but another supplier um, came to the party and helped me out and almost matched the price of the MultiPlus to the Phoenix, uh, Phoenix so I could get this system finished. Um, so essentially that's all I've got, it's really simple. Victron MultiPlus and uh, there's a smart shunt in there so um, you'll just be able to uh, see on their phone via Bluetooth the state of charge, and how much power they've got, how much they've used, all that sort of thing through the Victron Connect app, and then just connect directly to that via Bluetooth. And then I've just got a little switchboard there, uh, which has got the power point here, and then there's a couple of power points outside, and then our big fuck off DC isolator for the battery bank, because that's a massive battery bank, and um, in order for it to comply, it's got to have the proper isolating device and circuit breaker uh, overload protection. Um, that's a really neat system and good repurposing of a uh, lead acid battery bank. And um, I'm just, I'm still finishing off out here, but I thought I'd do the video now. Um, a, while well, there's no one here, because I hate talking in front of people, and B, um, before it goes dark. So this will be, power point here for the donga and then that will just be a, a general um, power outlet and I'm just doing my earth stake there and just finishing off this is the donga all fitted out ready to go they literally just put that in place now dropped it off the back of the truck and uh, the caretaker will be spending the night here as of today when the sun drops all right cheers guys have a good one just a quick note on um, something to be aware of with lead acid batteries, flooded lead acid batteries, they will gas, they let off an explosive gas. Um, and because this is a sea container and it's sealed, the seal's there, we've got to put some ventilation in here uh, to release that explosive gas so that uh, um, we don't have any explosions or anything like that. Also, all the associated electrical equipment in Australia needs to be a particular distance away, uh, 600 millimetres from the battery bank when you're using a lead acid battery bank. Righto.